Hello Leo and welcome to your October 17th to the 23rd weekly reading. This is a general reading Leo. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Leo, if you are new to this channel, hello, welcome. I am Force for the Trees. I appreciate you being here. Um, I appreciate your time and energy. Hopefully something resonates with you. If you are returning, uh, thank you so much for uh, your energy. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes, for your comments, for being here, for showing up, for giving me, you know, insight on what you think the cards mean, for communication. I love it all. So thank you so very, very much. Um, Leo, anything you need is in the description below. If you'd like to know what decks of cards I'm using, if you would like more information on astrology, I just burned myself. There's a link to astro.com in the in the description. If you like a personal private reading, my website is there. So check that out and see if that is something you would like to partake in. Woo! Right off the bat. Eight of Wands. Messages. Movement. Could be hearing from a job. Wow, Leo. Magician. Magician. And yeah, look at you. You're a hard worker. You are a hard worker. We have the bottom of the deck. A little nostalgia. Maybe thinking back about how when times were a lot simpler, when things were easier, when, you know, you didn't have to work so hard, or maybe appreciating those that have come before you. Maybe appreciating your parents or your grandparents and all the and how they instilled hard work in you. You know, could be from another country even that they came. Or they brought, you know, you all here. There's some type of, um, you know, um, remembrance here with these. this card. Could be a teacher and a student. It could be a, a family member and the younger you. You know, there's some type of, oh, yes, I remember. And it's, it's a card of harmony and peace. Six of cups, emotional. You know, it kind of takes you back. You can, it, I, I get that way a lot at Thanksgiving in the States because... You know, you can smell something cooking and it smells like your mom's house or whatever. And it can transport you back into that time. You have the Eight of Wands. Messages coming in. Something coming in quickly. It could be resumes that you have out there. It could be um, if you're looking for, you know, love and you have... Um, you're on some dating sites. You be, you could be getting hit up with a lot of messages. This could be about schools. If you apply to different schools, if you're looking for a job in schools, there's, um, there is emails or text or, um, communication coming, you know, and it brings you growth. It brings you, um, it's it's a it's a fast paced energy. It brings this this stability also with it because it's an eight, so it's double fours. Um, there's some stability with it. It could be some, um, again with knowledge or teaching or or. Um, hmm. I'm also getting I'm also getting too, Leo. That you know you've put a lot in to whatever it is you're trying to manifest. You've put a lot into it. You put a lot of books and classes and learning to whatever it is you are trying to manifest. And this shows that you're the magician. So you are the manifester, right? You are the one bringing this into light. And there comes a time, Leo, where, um, you know, the school need, not that, you know, we always learn. I still learn tarot each and every day. I still learn something from it. It, it is always teaching something. Um, I will never, never, never know everything about tarot. And that's good. But you have this energy of you've put in work. You've read. You've went to school. It's time to do. It's time to show. It's time to create what it is that you want to do. Um, and also with the eight of, eight of wands energy, it has your back. It is, you know, in a sense, protecting you from what you're doing, what you want to do, what you want to create. Um, and this could be a nostalgia card. It could also be an ancestor card. They could have your back as well. You know, you could be doing something in honor of somebody. You could be doing something because of somebody. Um, kind of like your great-great-grandmother might have taught you how to make 
strudel and that's what you're selling that's what you're making her recipe you know what i'm saying that kind of connection there um but it's time to do it it is time to create this card is there's no time like the present with the magician it is telling me you have everything you need you are just needing maybe some self-confidence um you have the money you have the support you have the love for whatever product you know you have the passion for it you have communication going on um so go you know just just strike while the iron's hot this is telling me that you have it you just need to trust yourself i think you've had a lot of confirmations here too that you have it um again if it's strudel maybe people ate it and they just love it and what's the recipe and things like that you have a lot of things backing you up um and it just shows that there's just hard work there's a lot of work still to be done you're not against it you're not um opposed to it at all to you the more that you can can do something the better you'll be at it right and eight is a card of power so you're taking power over your money you're taking power over your finances you're taking creative power right this is you doing you this is you creating what you know um what you've been working on it's something you've been working on um the eight of wands is a passion maybe for a long long time but now's the time to create it. Now's the time to go for it. Now's the time to open that door and step through. Um, and again, it could come from ancestors. It could come from ancestors. It could come from support. But there's a lot of communication. There's a lot of interest with the Eight of Wands. There's a lot of interest in this. Again, it could just be, um, you know, you're making something and, and people started buying it. And it's like, wow, I could, you know, I could sell this. Right, we're going to pull one more card for you. We're going to pull the Samhain Oracle. Since it is the spooky season. There we go. Oh, healer. Look at that. See, and it could even be that you could be, you could be a healer, whatever it is that you're creating, whatever it is that you're good at, you're being noticed and, and it's propelling you forward. And you know, it takes hard work. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. The third eyes open. You are being, um, not only are you, are you being seen, but you're being heard. And not only are you being seen and heard, you're seeing. I can't help but notice that full moon. Now we have a full moon on the 20th. So this reading is October 17th through the 23rd. There's a full moon on October 20th in Aries. And that is, this is crazy too, because that, that full moon is, it sheds light on your, your true purpose. It sheds light on, um, it helps you to, um, to see your true desires or your life's purpose. And this, this is just saying there's no time like the present to move, move, to move on it. Take it, you know, do it. All right. It's card 22 and two and two is four, which is a card of stability. Know that you are being called to initiate yourself as one of the wise ones. You are meant to be a guide for those who are finding their way. And there are many ways you can do this. As a healer for your family and neighborhood or through building a community or social media offering wisdom. It doesn't matter how you choose to heal. All that matters is that you do. If you thought about becoming a healer, this is a resounding yes. Some healing practices are crystal therapist, Reiki, practitioner, Tarot reader, psychic, doula, death doula, uh, herbologist, and so on. You may have something you've practiced for years, or you may feel called to learn a new skill. Trust your intuition. And you can also be a, a creator of healing tools, right? You can make jewelry or candles um, or your own oracle decks or anything like that also with this card or any, you know, anything. Um, so definitely, if you're being called to that, this is a resounding yes to do it. And also something too to think about um, is first and foremost, she looks to me like a bird with the feathers. So it looks like she's ready to take flight. She's ready to fly. She's ready to go and do. 
Um, the full moon, full moon in Aries on October 20th, which this reading is September, October 17th to the 23rd. So the 20th is right there, three days before, three days after. So we're hitting all of it. But also if, like I said earlier, if you're making strudel or you're making something, that is a form of healing also. You know, we've all been there where we've had some food or we've had some luxury of some sort that someone has handmade that is just, uh, it heals us. It can transport us somewhere and it, and it, um, it touches a place in our soul. So to me, anytime we can do that for a person or persons, we heal. We can be healers. It doesn't necessarily have to be laying on of hands. If you're creating, you are laying on of hands, right? You're using your hands to create. So, you know, that's all part of. And you just don't realize sometimes how many lives you touch when you do stuff, something that you have a passion for, that you absolutely love, but now is the time to create the world that you want to live in and that you want to work in. All right, Leo. Wow. If you know any other Leos as this sounds like, please feel free to share. And I appreciate you all watching. Thank you so much. Please stay safe and healthy. Take care of yourself and each other. Leos, until next week, many blessings and good luck to you this week. Bye for now.